and 60. What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here. Episode 60 of Bullpen Banter. As most of the time, I'm joined by my good buddy, Chris, aka Snaggle J. Chris, how's it going? Good. How's it going? I mean, your mic is literally killing me, but other than that, pretty good. It's it is literal death, isn't it? You've got so much bass right now. I'm I almost want to call you uh, that girl who sang about the bass. Mm. Megan Trainer, continue. Yeah, there you go, Megan Trainer. No, that's what I was thinking of. So, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. I got no complaints. You know, it's Monday, so I'm here. Uh, you uh, uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover tonight, so we should probably we should probably just dive right into it. I would say. Uh, I mean, we might as well jump in with both feet. We got a lot. Uh, Mills will be joining us uh, in a minute or so, or a few minutes. Who knows? God knows what that guy. Always late nowadays. We call him the late Mills. Any of them. Uh, all right, let's uh, hop over to theshownation.com and uh, check out the hot new content we got coming for us. Uh, or actually, it's all out now, so I guess it's not uh, super hot and super new, but now we get some time. We've had a few days to sink our teeth into some of the stuff, so now we can uh, we can take a look at it. Uh, we've got new postseason players, Battle Royale events, uh, sorry, Battle Royale rewards have been revamped. Uh, we've got the new Silver Bronze event, and we've got the new uh, head-to-head season, season clubhouse to talk about. So lots of stuff, lots of lots of stuff to get over. Uh, I guess yeah. we'll, just, we'll just go top down uh, on the website. Uh, we've been waiting for it all season long. Uh, the 99 postseason Carlos Beltran is here. Uh, it is in the ticket counter. Uh, it costs 15,000 tickets, which... Uh, oh, and you must achieve Diamond XP level 99. So I feel like if you're at Diamond XP level 99, you probably have 15,000 tickets. I would definitely concur with that opinion. Uh, especially with the 2x stuff that's been going on, uh, as well as just the general overall grind. I feel like you should be there, unless you've been just blowing tickets on a lot of meaningless stuff. I mean, I feel like you got to be up there pretty close. Right? I yeah, I feel, I feel like m- maybe a lot of people would have been picked. I mean, even if you're picking up the Future Stars, I mean, they were like nothing in terms of yeah. tickets. Yeah, they were like seven, eight hundred. Uh, like you know, I know they've been adding some some different diamonds in and and lowering the levels a little bit on them, but I feel like fifteen thousand tickets for most people who are that level probably not that hard. I am currently diamond twenty eight, and I have ninety three hundred tickets, but also yeah. I've barely done any. I haven't. I've done. I've completed two programs technically: the Chipper Jones and the Bryce Harper one, which is like a faux program before getting into the Yon Mankato one, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm actually getting starting to get through some of the career stuff, so... But I feel like if you're 99 Diamond, I don't know what you've really been spending all your tickets on that you don't have 15,000. I think Coop said he still had... He had, like, 45,000 at the time of uh, buying the Beltran for 15,000. So he still Foolish. had an extra 30k sitting around. Uh, but yeah, everything's been... Like, the Future Stars have been... I think they're all kind of like 700 area. Uh, the player of the months have been 2,000, I think. Or I think 15... Like 2,000 or 1,800, I think, was one. Um, I mean, we just got the new Kelvin... The Kelvin Herrera's in there now. Uh, is 2,300. Uh, yeah, I feel I feel with the double X... The, the double tickets and stuff. Uh, you should be up there close. Somewhere. All right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, say, I, I feel like you. Sh- oh, sorry. I, I was just gonna say, I feel like you should be in the neighborhood. At, yeah. at, at a bare minimum, you should be in the neighborhood and be able to grind out the little bit that you need. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're not close, uh, we'll talk about it in a little bit. But the uh, ranked season rewards are also giving a ton of ton of tickets away now, uh, so you should be able to get there. If not already, by next month. Uh, looking at the Carlos Beltran, it's uh, eighty one ninety nine against righties, eighty four ninety five against lefties. Uh, 80 Vision, 8, 95 Discipline, 99 Clutch, uh, 88 Durability, 82 Fielding, 74 Arm Strength, 73 Accuracy, 79 Reaction, 83 Speed, 97 Steel, 89 Aggressiveness. So Okay, so can I ask a question at this point? Sure. Was this card worth holding back this long? 
I mean, like, don't get me wrong. This is like, not I feel, a. I feel like the contact numbers just aren't there for. Yeah, that's like it's not. Card. It's not a bad card. I oh, mean, yeah, it's definitely not wrong. a bad card, but yeah. Though I but guess is, I guess because it is a uh, a ticket card, I understand. If if the plan was always to release this in the ticket counter, I understand. Then I understand holding it back. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. He is easily, you know, one of the best couple of outfielders that that you can put in your lineup. Mm -hmm. But, like, to hold him back to this point, uh, I just, I I don't know. Again, if if the plan all along was to put him in the ticket counter, then that's fine because he is the best card you've been able to get in the ticket counter this year. Yeah, by far. And and, and that's, that's understandable. But I just, I, I, don't know. I was a little underwhelmed the first few glances I took at his attributes. Yeah, because I figure, I figure if you're up that high, you've got to have some pretty good outfielders already, like Bryce Harper's, uh, the new Bryce Harper that came out, or you've got the old Bryce Harper and the Andre Dawson, uh, or a Trout. I feel yeah. like this is a, this is a, I feel like this is a top five outfielder. I think a lot of people love the switch hit ability of him, but I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's the one thing you don't get with the other top outfielders is the mm-hmm. switch hit. But the thing is, the other top outfielders you don't need it. Yeah, I mean they crush, they enough, crush. Right? Yeah, they crush everybody equally. Yeah. Like it's it's not really a problem. I mean, some people like that he's a switch hitter, and that makes it different. So I guess that's. But I mean, I feel I hit better with lefties than righties. So, I mean, if I yeah. had the choice, I would want him to hit lefty all the time. I guess like I use my creative player as a lefty. I mean, I know I'm uh, in the minority of that. I think pretty much everybody uses a switch hitter from what I've seen online, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't use creative players, so I, I have no opinion, but... I think it's just a... I think it's a comfort thing. I mean, I get... Don't get me wrong. Really good card. Great speed. Great contact. Great power. Uh, if you got 15,000 tickets and you don't have a beast outfield, uh, he's well worth the pickup. I will definitely pick him up uh, when I get there. Yeah. Uh, it might play... Hmm. With that speed on my team, probably plays a corner outfield the position. I'd probably leave uh, Flashback Ellsbury in center, because he's got the 92 speed. Yeah. Uh, that's just, again, just personal preference. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you have 15,000 tickets, no reason yeah. to not get them. Yeah, exactly. There's there's not going to be more than likely anything better to spend 15,000 ticket on, tickets on this year. Uh, we also got some new uh, gold XP at level 0 cards. Uh, flashback Kelvin Herrera, Flashback John Lester, Flashback J.J. Hardy. Let me pull them up uh, in the Daddy Leagues so that we can check them out. Actually, thinking... Is that? Oh, yeah. Gold J.J. Hardy. Uh, Herrera, if I can spell that correctly. And who's the third guy? Lester. Uh, John Lester. Uh, we'll start with... Uh, we'll go worst first. Uh, we'll start with the J.J. Hardy. Uh, 71 contact versus righties, 61 power versus righties, uh, 89, 86 versus lefties, uh, 87 fielding, 80 arm strength, 83 accuracy, 80 reaction. So great defender. It really hits lefties well. Uh, 81 plate vision, 91 clutch. Good card. I got no problems with that card. Yeah. Uh, if, if, and, and you're going to need postseason guys uh, for the upcoming... Uh, missions and stuff so yeah that's that's what that's what i was gonna say is i mean if, if he wasn't a postseason flashback there's really no reason to pick up this card at this point in the season um but with i mean you know above average or you know very good defense um i mean again with it, where he's a postseason flashback i mean pick him up it's you're gonna you're gonna need him yeah i don't know how many he's going for i don't know if they're all going for 2300 or I don't think so. Cause I think Lester's going for 20, 20 so, or two thousand. Yeah, I but. think there's a little bit of flexibility. He, he in there. might be like fifteen or eighteen. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Uh, next up, we have the ninety-two postseason John Lester, who I kind of want to pick up. Uh, ninety-seven stamina, eighty-five hits per nine, seventy-two Ks per nine, ninety-seven clutch, uh, and seventy-nine walks per nine. Uh, he's got a four seam, a cut, a change. Uh, what did we ever say? SCV was was a slow curve. I thought it was sweeping curve. Or sweeping curve, yeah, sweeping curve is what it is. Yeah, uh, and then a sinker. Sinker's been that uh, the flavor of the week recently. Uh, yeah, only sixty six break on it. So, 
Yeah, I don't hate the pitch mix. Um, I've seen some interesting reviews all over the place. Some, some some people really like them. Some people don't like them. I've never been able to pitch well with any John Lester card in MLB The Show dating back several years. I just don't pitch well with them. That's the wind-up um, so thing, I mean, or...? Yeah, I don't know. It's just I just I don't have any success with him at all. I really gave it a real good try last year, and I used him for eight or ten starts, and I just could not get a good feel for him. Uh, so you know, I, I don't use him personally. But again, it, the pitch mix is interesting. Um, you know, I I mean, he, he could go either way. He could be yeah. really really good for you, or he could absolutely get just pumped every time you have him on the mound. Yeah, I feel like that is kind of the way it is with pitchers. Like, if you aren't comfortable with them, it really doesn't matter what their ratings are or their pitch mix or anything. Uh, yeah. As long as you're comfortable with them. Like, the the reason I want to get the 99 Mike Scott is because I'm good with the 88 version. Uh, if you're bad with the live series John Lester, I wouldn't go out and pick up this John Lester and expect to be better. Yeah, they're going to pitch pretty much the same. If, if you're having problems, specifically hitting the meter and stuff, uh... You might want to try to avoid this card, but but solid card if you can pitch with them. Which I, I feel like that's the caveat with every starting pitcher. If you can pitch with John Lester, this is going to be a great John Lester card to have. Yeah. Uh, next up, ninety three overall, Kelvin Herrera. Uh, this is a relief pitcher card. Uh, Eighty nine hits per nine and ninety three Ks per nine, ninety seven clutch, sixty eight walks per nine. Uh, overall, a little inflated with the eighty one home runs per nine. Uh, four seam, two seam change, slider and curve. Uh, let's see, the two-seam, the change, the slider, and, you know, the curve actually has a good break on it, too, uh, with 73, so, a uh, pretty solid card. For 2,300 tickets, I feel like that might be a pretty good pickup. Yeah, and the thing is, making him available at the gold zero level, um, there are people who are going to be at gold zero, where this will probably be the best reliever on your team if you pick him up. Um, I, I kind of want to pick him up. I mean, again, you know, triple-digit fastballs, uh, you know, be able to throw that two-seamer in the upper 90s is just filthy. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able to drop it down 10 miles an hour with a slider, I mean, you're never going to throw his curveball ever, yeah. ever, ever. Unless you're just going to bury it in the dirt to really try to get a trade. Yeah, chase the even, good catcher. even then I would go slider. Um, that curveball that with that 58 control, you, you can't yeah. trust it. You, you, and out of the bullpen, you don't need it. I mean, if you're coming out of the bullpen and throwing a guy's fifth pitch, uh, you're just asking to get killed. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's, it's it's one of those things where, like I said, I would just, you know, stick to fastballs and, and sliders, maybe mix in the odd change up. I mean, he, he, he could be an absolute monster for you. Yeah. I kind of want to pick him up. But I, uh, I got to see how fast I'm going up levels because I, I want to see if I want to get him or go or just save him for the, uh, the Beltran and then pick him up later. Beltran, yeah. All right, next up, what do we got here? Uh, we got the new packs out, the postseason packs are out. A whole bunch of new postseason cards uh, came out. I don't know if we want to talk about any of these specifically. Uh, I do like the Will Clark. I'll take a pop at him real quick. 97 Ooh, contact. That's the, one, that's the one I pulled. Yep, I pulled three, two or three of them. <laughs> uh, 97 contact. I can, only afford, Go ahead. I can only afford one pack, so um, I got the Will. I got the Will Clark. I'm using them, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, I know he's pretty trash against lefties, but I hit really well with lefties. Um, I was using Eric Hosmer for a long time, mm -hmm. who's not super great against lefties and was having some success. So, yeah, I'm using the Will Clark. His defense is a, is a liability. Um, 60 feet. Yeah. Yep, that's going to be a question. but Yeah, but, I mean, you can't uh, 97 contact versus righties, 95 power versus righties. You, you can't question that. He's essentially, I just want to check what the, uh, what the other numbers are, but he's essentially a little bit worse against lefties version of Freddie Freeman when he's got the IE boost. Mm -hmm. Essentially. Though it's like yeah, I don't disagree. Worse against lefties. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, and he can't field as well, but he should be able to rake. Uh, if you need a postseason, a postseason card to rake, Will Clark is yeah. definitely going to be there. Because you don't have, um, I pulled, who did I pull? Yeah, I pulled Salvador Perez. I pulled someone and sold him for like 25k. Or no, I pulled Sergio Romo, knowing that I wasn't going to use yeah. him. So I sold him for like 25k. That, that's Sal, that Sal Perez is so trash for a 93. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I mean, uh, he's got good defense, but I feel like you can do so much better. Yeah, I feel like, like even so against, much better. Even against his live series, I feel like it's pretty equal. And I feel like we're going to start running into a lot of situations where there's going to be cards that are going to essentially be the live series cards on an IE boost that we're yeah. gonna be seeing a lot more of. So let me just yeah. tell you right now, uh, I'm looking at his live series card. They both have 72 contact versus righties. Uh, this card has 10 more contact versus lefties, 13 more power versus righties, 4 more power versus lefties, uh, 13 more vision, and the fielding is pretty much the same. So it's a little bit better, but again, if you want postseason cards, yes, go get this. But if you're looking for a catcher, the live series Salvador Perez is less than 1,000 subs rather than 20,000 subs for this one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, any of, the, of these guys you want to talk about? Uh, and there's none of, the, none of the... I mean, they're all really good cards. Don't okay. get me wrong. I want to see this Cody Allen on Daddy Leagues. I swear to God, if it says two curveballs and a fastball, or two fastballs and a curveball, I'm going to be very upset. No, he's got to change, so that might be kind of nice. Cody Allen's got 97 hits per nine, 99 Ks per nine, 98 clutch, 57 walks per nine. A little bit of the overall is boosted up by the uh, 88 home runs per nine, but not bad. Kind of could be a bullpen beast. Hmm. And you can get him for like 14K? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might have to make a play for Cody Allen. He looks oh, pretty nasty. You, you don't get a lot of guys that are 99 or 97, 99 uh, hits in case per nine. That's pretty good. That is not bad. The walks per nine scares me a little bit. Um, yeah, this could be could be a beast card. I'm extremely excited that it's a a three pitch uh, closer that actually has three different pitches. So that's nice. <laughs> yep. Uh, do you want to look at any more of these? Marco Estrada, I know you're uh Oh, uh, yeah, DJs. big, big, big Marco fan. 91 hits for 9, 83 walks for 9, low strikeouts for 9, so you're not going to be caning a bunch of guys. No. Low home runs for 9, so this card is actually probably going to play higher than an 88 for you. Yeah. And he's super cheap. Might be worth a, might be worth a shot if you... He is super cheap. If you got a gold, if you got like a, a gold rotation... You're going to need, again, you're going to need postseason players. Uh, he would be worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oral Hershiser. I've heard people saying that they like him. 91 hits per nine, 79 Ks per nine, uh, 72 walks per nine. And we get a 91 home runs per nine, so that's like bolstering that overall. But Yeah. That Colby Rasmus would be better if he didn't have 33 vision. Uh, yeah, I think actually I, I, I mean, pulled him on my, my back soon. Kills, he kills righties. Uh, 71 contact versus righties, 99 power versus righties, but the vision is just brutal. Yeah. Uh, 72 field, 80, 84 arm strength, so he can play the outfield a little bit for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be worried about... Well, actually, I mean, he's got the power. If you can hit with low vision guys, he's probably a good card. And for, like, three grand, you can, you can play with that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, new Battle Royale rewards uh, coming out now. Uh, now, three wins will get you an 80 to 84 overall silver. Six wins will get you an 85 to 89 overall gold. Nine wins will get you a 90 to 98 overall. Uh, and then 12 wins will get you a 94 to 99 overall. So, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and then we also got some new flawless rewards. Uh, two isn't it's not a new. No, it's not new. They're just putting them all in the pool now. I okay. think. Flawless rewards contains highest legend and flashback rewards between ninety seven and ninety nine overall. Oh, okay, they so did the, the po the postseason os um postseason Oswald is new. Um, the, yeah, for twelve win, he's gotcha. not a flawless reward, but gotcha. Um, he is a twelve win. Gotcha. All right, and then the jump and everything else is back in there. Okay. Uh, 95 Oswald. Kind of, uh, 82 hits per nine, 76 Ks per nine, 80 walks per nine. Not bad. How many Oswalds are in this game now? Uh, that's 
83 at least. There's the 89 and the 93. It's the 95. You're going for a ton. Four seam sink, 12 to 6, slider, and change. It's a good mix. Not bad. Could be an interesting card. If you can pitch a Royals Walt, which I've actually been pitching pretty well with the uh, 88, I think. I have the gold one. It's been pretty okay. Good. Nice. Uh, yeah, so now the 12, 12 win rewards will be in uh, the 9 win category as well. And now the flawless... Okay, yeah. So old flawless rewards uh, are in the 12 win area. Old 12 win rewards are in the 9 win area. Oh, okay. Uh, and they've added a flashback, Chris Young, and Jack Morris to 6 wins. Take a look at those real quick. Uh, Chris Young, 87 contact versus lefties, 95 power versus lefties, 45 vision, 85, 84 field, 77 speed. Pretty good. Pretty good card. Not crazy, but no. it can play. I feel like no, if you're... It, I mean, if you just got the game not too long ago, I feel like there's a lot of cards that you can get for for super cheap right now. Yeah. Uh, 87 Jack Mo or 88 overall Jack Morris, 73 hits per nine, 68 Ks per nine, 64 walks per nine. That's really not that... Those aren't real great K for nines. Uh, right there. I would probably avoid this card. Again, if you need postseason cards, you need postseason cards, but probably avoid this guy. Yeah. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, uh, we also got news of the Silver Bronze event. Uh, have you partaken yet? Nah, that would be a big negative. All right. uh, Silver Bronze event started on the 13th. Uh, we'll go to September 27th uh, on All-Star Difficulty. Online head-to-head, -head, six innings per game. Uh, you can assemble a team of only silver and bronze players. Uh, as always, the to enter is free. Uh, events have their own dedicated lineup. As you know, silver and bronze players uh, can only be live. Well, I guess it can be any players that are silver and bronze, but your team can only be a max uh, of 80 overall. Interesting event. Uh, it's funny, they say, don't forget to filter the community market, but yeah, but that's... Again, the problem with the shownation.com is they only have the cards available on the marketplace, but Daddy League shows you the cards that are also available through doing collections and stuff. Yes, which is so that's why. much more helpful. But they don't have the filters that you want that are on the market, which it's slippery slope. Agreed. Uh, yeah, so we got some got some cool rewards in here. Uh, again, always double elimination. Uh, three wins gets you a silver live series player. Six wins gets you a gold live series player. Nine wins gets you the postseason flashback Giovanni Gallardo. Uh, and 12 wins gets you a low live series diamond player. So that's a 90 to 93 overall. Yeah. Uh, Gallardo, 73 hits per nine, 83 Ks per nine, 67 walks per nine. It's not, I mean, a lot of these cards are just not like, not getting me excited. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I just feel like there's, the excitement level is not there. Yeah, like or I, I need a I, thing, I need a per nine in the nineties to get me excited now. Yeah, I feel like that's probably a good spot to be. At least one. Again, the thing is, for it being the week that it is, or that it was, with no less than three considerably major sports games out and several minor sports games released all within the same span. This was a very, very important week for them to drop content and and things to do that kept people playing the game and not running off to play NHL, NBA Live, NBA 2K, NASCAR Heat, whatever your fancy was that came out in the last seven days. And I just, like, for me, I just, I don't see the, the hook. The hook was just not there. I feel like this is just what you had in the cupboard. A silver bronze event and another Eddie Murray. Well, well, we haven't talked about. I don't think you got that far down yet, but Not yet. like just, you know, like uh, yeah, a silver bronze event, you know, there's, there's an Oswald I, and there's a, you know, like it's just, it's just, eh. Yeah. I mean, I like the event. I just don't think any of these new cars are really that great. I mean, granted they will become very important in, you know, a couple of weeks when they start rolling out these new programs and stuff, but just right, right. now they don't they don't seem that great. Yeah. But I'm interested to see yeah. uh, where they go. 
Yeah. Hopefully we'll get that those programs soon, uh, sooner than later. Just so we can see what those rewards are and how well that's going to come together. Uh, as you were mentioning, uh, if you win 40 games uh, in this event, you'll get the postseason legend Eddie Murray, uh, who's a 99 overall. Uh, 25 wins gets you a postseason pack, which guarantees you one of those postseason players we mentioned earlier. 10 wins gets you a ball in is a habit pack. 5 wins gets you a standard 10 pack bundle. Uh, Eddie Murray, good card. Uh, the Eddie Murray might become my off-season first baseman. When my uh, when Freddie Freeman has no more IE boost, ninety-two. Yeah, I, I, I don't hate the Eddie Murray. Yeah, ninety-two, ninety-seven against uh, righties, seventy-seven, eighty-four against lefties. Eighty-four vision is good. Ninety-four clutch is great. Uh, eighty-two fielding works. Forty-eight speed kind of sucks, but what you gonna do? The only thing is, I don't really love his batting stance, so. Uh, I am going to try to grind yeah. and get this guy. We'll see how that works out, but we'll try. Yeah, it's it's a nice card. It's it's a very very nice card. Yeah, I'm, it might it, it might be worth the grind if once you put it in. But then again, it's yet another first baseman. <laughs> I mean, that is true. Mm-hmm. It is yet another first baseman. Uh, uh, some of the things from the mailbag from this post. Uh, will you continue to add new flawless rewards to Battle Royale moving forward? They say yes, at least for the next couple of months, which is very good. Uh, postseason programs will arrive. Uh, will be this Friday, the twenty second. That's good. So yep. maybe, so maybe now is the time to go, kind of, pick up some of those lower postseason cards just to get them in your lineup uh, before they start rocking it up in price when uh, these programs start. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's both programs release on Friday, the twenty second. So be ready for that. I my body is ready. Uh, and the other thing was uh, the new ranked season clubhouse is out now. Uh, you can start your playing. Uh, you finally uh, get your ninety nine Robbie Alomar you've been dying for. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> You just all think he's on the Indians? I am well documented as being on the record. The thing is, is that pretty much, I mean, it's a pretty well known fact in the community that we knew an upper level Robbie Alomar card was coming. I was hoping that we were going to get a postseason Robbie Alomar, a 1993 uh, or even a 92 postseason Robbie Alomar. Uh, with the Blue Jays. I mean, I don't hate that he's with the Indians. I am so happy he's not with the Orioles um, because Millennium would have never let me live it down ever in a million years. True. And I'm so glad I don't have to listen to that. Um, What's this? It's like but, I mean, to, to, to be fair, he is probably by far the best second baseman in the game. Yeah. The yeah, Eckhart's... Uh going to be pretty nasty. You don't think that we would get a program out of Yalmar, right? That would be ridiculous. I mean, now that a 99 is out, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't see it being a postseason Robbie Alomar at this point. I mean, remember, you are not going to get this 99 for another month, essentially. Yeah, that's true. But then I guess it would, it would definitely give you no incentive to do the, uh, the whole thing. Uh, yeah, right now there's an 83 Alomar, uh, I guess Impact Veteran for the Mets, a rookie Alomar that's an 88, and a 90, this is the 99. Uh, but does it have the numbers here? Yeah. Uh, so the Alomar's got 94 contact versus righties, 81 power versus righties, 97 and 80 against lefties, uh, 81 vision, 94 discipline, 88 clutch, 88 fielding, 82 arm strength, 82 or 86 arm accuracy, uh, 79 speed, 80 stealing, and 79 base running aggressiveness. So, pretty beastly. Solid card. The only thing, I mean, a lot of people are like, yeah, this is the best, uh, this is the best second baseman, uh, there is, but, like, I play my cap at second base, and he's better than that. So well, yeah. I, I feel like it's just weird that the cap is... The Caps' most likely position to play is going to be second base, and 
that's the big card now. Yeah, I guess, I, I but, now, feel... but now you can get him, move your cap, and you're good. But yeah, I I feel like having your cap at second is is you know that's whatever that's what the majority of the people do. Um, now, now you can it's, go move it's, him to third or. Yeah, it's it's really not have, surprising. Do we really have like a beast third baseman? Mm. I can think. Of, I can't. I, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. I do want to. Let me just look. Like just Brooks straight, Robinson. But is he straight beast? Oh, if you program Brooks Robinson. He's an he's an absolute animal. Mm. That sounds accurate. No, he, if if you've done the Brooks Robinson, he's. He, he's he's there. He's not going in. Miguel Cabrera, Chipper, Andre, and Edgar. They all have 85 in all their contact and power numbers. Yeah. So yeah, there's some guys. Yes. I feel like they'll have defensive liabilities except for Beltran. But... Yeah. But yeah, so there's guys. Uh, yeah, so I don't know where you would really move your cap if you're a cap player. If you got like Mauer behind the plate and stuff, so... Maybe he goes to the outfield. Uh, Maybe. So, yeah, World Series gets you... Uh, not World Series. Start at, start at the top. Uh, spring training gets you a bronze live series player. Uh, regular season division pack gets you a guaranteed silver live series player and a bronze live series player. Uh, All-Star gets you two silver players. Pennant Race gets you a gold and a silver. Uh, wild Card gets you a gold, a silver, and uh, 89 legend Nolan Ryan, who's a relief pitcher. Yep. Uh, only problem is he's got two fastballs and a curveball. <laughs> uh, I think it's just a straight curve, too, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, two fastballs and a curve. And only 70 break on the curve, 42 control. It's going to be real questionable uh, if you want to use that pitch. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Division Series gets you... Uh, a gold and Nolan Ryan, a and a postseason pack. Yeah. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Where are we? I'm losing my place here. Uh, championship Series gives you a gold player, Nolan Ryan, a postseason pack, and a diamond that can be ninety to ninety nine overall. Hopefully, you don't get Craig Grimble. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then World Series. Ah, the Kimbrel. Uh, then World Series gives you a gold player, Nolan Ryan, postseason pack, diamond player, ninety nine, ninety to ninety nine, and then Robbie Alomar, ninety nine diamond. Yeah. Again, I mean, the Rob, the Robbie Alomar is the only reason you're playing the season. If you can't get the World Series, I don't see any other reason why. If you're playing seasons that, to get a eighty nine uh, long reliever at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably like, problem you need well. to you need to reevaluate your life priorities. Yeah, if you don't have Christian Bethencourt in as your long reliever to begin with, I want to say, um, I I think listen, if you got the championship series last time, you are, you automatically have Nolan Ryan. Yeah, I think if you got to CS, yeah, you already yeah you drop you go straight you to wildcard. If you CS yeah. should start at wildcard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you drop two divisions um, when the new season starts up. I think that's been the way they've been going. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, uh, you might have talked about this on last week's show, but have you had a chance to use the Giolito yet? Uh, I have not, actually, because I've been playing uh, the event and not. Uh, yes, not ranked season. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you're not playing it to get the World Series and get the Robbie Alomar, then you should be playing the event. Mm -hmm. So how, uh, Again, how there's you... nothing else there. I mean, obvious, obviously a guaranteed 90 to 99 diamond is, you know, intriguing. But for everyone that's going to pull a Mike Trout, there's going to be a bunch of guys that pull Craig Kimbrell. That's just how it is. Interesting. Uh, I know you have not started the event, but I wonder if Millennium has. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if only he was here so that we could ask him. What's going on, guys? It's, I'm not kidding. Sorry. Um, yeah, uh, actually, I have. I started a couple of games of it, but... To be honest, I didn't stick with it. I, like, there's just too much out right now. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm still playing the game. I just, I don't, I know for a fact I'm not going to have time to do 50 wins for that Eddie Murray. Just like ranked seasons. Like, I don't even know if I feel like playing ranked seasons because 
I don't believe I'm going to get the World Series. I'm just going to see how much they come out for cost wise and just buy them. Yeah, some people, some people have been uh, speculating that this will be the most ex expensive ranked seasons card. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I mean, I agree to a point. Um, the only th because of the way he's rated, but like, and there's not that many second basemen that are like that. But he's a second baseman, and there are a lot of good second basemen and people that can play second base. So, and a lot of yeah. people use their cap at second base, as I said. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think I think it'll be very questionable yeah. how that card turns out. I mean, it should be yeah. a beast. Like I said, I just it, you know what it's. I, I almost feel feel bad that as much as I want to say, hey, I'd love to grind and make the time to get that Robbie Alomar. There's there's just there, there's too many too many games, and I think given all the things that have transpired this summer, unfortunately for me, MLB the Show has fallen to the bottom of the list. Um, you know, I tried to start up and and play a few ranked seasons game. I got disconnected the first game. I uh, had a glitch filled second game, and the third game was fine. Uh, and I just kind of moved on. Like you know, just I just. It's unfortunate, it really is, because, you know, all of us are going to sit here and agree that the content that they continue to release is very, very good. Yes, you know, we're getting into some you know, predictability with the 99 Beltran. We knew he was going to be coming out eventually. You know, I don't really get the Nolan Ryan long reliever card, but the content is still very good. There's still lots to do in the game, but I just think at this point, a lot of people have moved on. Yeah, and I think especially stuff like the... The super long grind stuff, like the 40 wins needed for Eddie and trying to get to rank seasons. I feel like right now with all the stuff that's coming out, it's it's going to be hard to uh, get people to stick around and play that much right now. Uh, unless you're like super diehard baseball fan, but you, if you're a super diehard baseball fan, you were already in. Uh, you were already in for that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I just don't know if a second baseman really does that for anybody to. Uh, to do the ranked seasons and yet another first baseman. Granted that Eddie Murray is nasty, but uh, I just don't know. I feel like this might be a slow week for me playing MLB unless I get on like a real hot run in events. Yeah, yeah I don't disagree. Well, well, I think we really need to see what happens with the uh, postseason programs this Friday. Yeah, I think like for me personally, I'm to the point now where these postseason programs might be make or break with this game for me. Mm -hmm. um, like, this game is dangerously teetering on, you know, I'll play it if some other guys are playing it, and, you know, I'll turn it on to do research that is required for this program. Uh, and that's pretty much the extent of it right now for me. And I feel like if these postseason programs don't give me some sort of hook, uh, I feel like it's it's going to be the exact opposite of what it was last year where we played this game a couple hours every day up until you know the third week of february i feel like that's that's going to be in the distant rear view mirror it's going to be on to some of the other triple a sports titles that are out right now yeah and yeah and I, like you said it's it's so tough this time of year to stick with a game that's six months old um, even being baseball, like I said, they're going to get hot again come playoff races, which are getting ready to get – like they're just firing up right now. Everyone likes to say September is the big-time baseball uh, playoff races, but let's be quite honest with each other. It's not until the last two weeks, especially now when there's so many teams uh, locked up for the wild card. That wild card game hits and the playoffs start running. Like people will start playing and will be a little bit more – um, I do wonder if they're going to start pumping out a lot of content. Like, I think last year they had a bunch of missions around, like, the wild card teams that got in and each round of the playoffs and stuff. So, I mean, that would be cool to see. If that ends up happening, that would be awesome. Um, which I, I think they do. Like, remember, uh, what was it, a month ago they said they had dozens of 99s to think about? Like, they still had dozens. Uh, and the word the word tips to use was dozens, which is crazy. So when I hear dozens, it's like they haven't put out dozens of 99s yet. <laughs> Yeah. That's still on the burner there, so we'll see. Yeah. Could get interesting. Yeah, I think yeah. this might this might just be like that lull that we have to get through uh, so that we can see what all the other stuff comes out. Like the FIFAs and the NHLs and the NBAs and be like... Yeah, FIFA's not even out yet. Yeah, that's next yeah. That's next week and I'm very excited for that. So that's going to be... That's going to be a thing that if 
if FIFA is hot fire, uh, MLB is going to really take a right. really take a back burner. Yeah, uh, to everything I'm well, doing right now. And and I feel like just if if you look at the last month, I feel like the the Madden hype was exponentially higher this year than it was last year, mm-hmm. which drew a lot of people in. They ran a very aggressive social media campaign, uh, you know, and they gave out fists and fists and fistfuls of codes to people. And I, I've never seen a social media blitz like that for a game. That pulled a lot of people in. Um, NHL is a very, very good game uh, that, you know, a lot of people are having a lot of fun playing. Uh, a lot of people didn't expect NBA Live to be as good and garner as much positive feedback as it has nba 2k is always a very popular game uh you know it's it's just one of those things where i feel like the competition this year is you know several steps up from what it was last year at this same time in terms of hype and in terms of actual gameplay and that's that's made it tough and yeah you know what they could turn around when the playoffs hit and start dropping hot fire content again and and draw a lot of people back in that's absolutely 100 percent possible but given the current 2017 sports landscape it is going to be difficult because there are a lot of very very good games out right now Agreed. yeah we just gotta i think it's really about just seeing seeing what sticks right now uh and if all these new games that are coming out are going to be the games that you're going to stick with for months or if they're going to be i bought this it's all right I don't really want to play at the time, you know? Yeah. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Yeah. Uh, what else? You guys got anything else you want to talk about? Anything MLB wise uh, in your mind recently? Since you guys haven't been doing this, we really can't uh, discuss your silver event squads. I mean, we've talked about mine because it is a goat. I mean, I still have one. Um, I mean, like I said, I did play some games. It's more speed based, like D Gord and that kind of stuff. I saw you and Jackie Robinson, the, the season reward Jackie Robinson. So I, I, I'm seeing a lot of fast teams as opposed to um, powerful teams. Yeah. So, and I think that makes sense because there's not a whole lot of stuff you can put behind the plate to, to watch run games outside of, you know, Yachty, who's on my team, purposely because, like, I really don't want to let people run all over me. Um, Pitching-wise, I've done the same thing. Even with the six inning games, I've gone, like, high bronze, maybe, and really kind of bolstered my bullpen a little bit. Yeah, I've been... Uh... Yeah, I've noticed a lot of teams running Lou Brock, D. Gordon. A lot of teams have one, two, three, Lou Brock, D. Gordon, and uh, Jake Lamb. I've seen. Yeah. Them. I've played multiple teams the same night that have that have had those three. I, I will say my entire starting rotation is left-handers, with the exception of flashback uh, Severino. Whoa. Uh, and that was done purposely, just because, you know, because there are so many. I didn't see too many silver right-handed bats that really mash lefties, yeah. as opposed to you know Jake Lamb, Corey Dickerson. There's a bunch of lefties that absolutely mash righties. So, yeah. are you playing the actual Felix PA? Uh, I was gonna say, can we talk about the fact that TJ's playing? Did we not have a celebrity sighting on uh, Bullpen Banter a couple weeks ago as well? Forget, yeah, who did we play? Oh, uh, who did you play? Was Somebody quick. Who did, who did we play celebrity a couple weeks ago on Bullpen Banter? DJ was playing. Um, I, I feel I know you know Millennium is known for his his speed defense based lineups. I know you usually run one in ranked seasons as well. You kind of prioritize that. But I think when you get to the silver bronze level, I feel like if you start stacking your lineup with with powery type guys, you you take too big of a vision hit. You know, it's it's not like putting a a, a diamond power hitter who probably has you know have these vision in your lineup. If you're putting silver and bronze power guys and you're taking big vision hits, usually gigantic speed and feeling hits as well, I tend to agree when the speed defense lineup is probably the smartest way to go. Yeah, I also did uh, high contact, a lot of high contact guys. Ender and Ciarte in center, I think he's, he's like 84, 88 or something, first contact numbers. Uh, took a couple power guys just to try it out, Jay Bruce. Uh, is my main guy, and Jay Bruce has actually been pretty nasty for me. Uh, pitching rotation wise, I did something a little different. Oh, me. I gotta pull it up. So I can see what I did. I don't even remember. Uh, so I got, essentially got guys that can get me through an inning, which seems 
hypocritical because right now I'm in the third yeah, inning with sure, Vince Velasquez like still on the mound. Why is my open break, with photos right not the fault? This is the question. Uh, my rotation is and the pitch. Uh, all bronze. Uh, Carlos Rondon, uh, Vince Velasquez, Jordan Montgomery, Tyler Glasnow, and this one's for you, Mills. 70 overall, Zach Britton on the mound. <laughs> yeah, that lefty Zach Britton. He's not bad, but like it's just I can't pitch with him for some reason. And I can pitch with the live series Britton without a problem, but that, that flashback Britton gives me all kinds of problems trying to pitch. Yeah, and so the the rotation's kind of built around just getting get me one inning. I I just need you to get one inning. Granted, this is still a six inning game. Uh, right. Just just get me to where I'm pinch hitting for you is essentially where I need to get to uh, because I have put in the pen uh, Brad Peacock and Hyun Jin Ryu. Uh, they're both essentially starters in the bullpen. I think they both have like 75 stamina each. So if I can get two innings from them. Uh, I'm super excited out of that. Uh, then, believe it or not, I actually spent... this. I think this might be the first event that I've actually like gone out and bought guys uh, specifically for it. Uh, I picked up Flashback Brad, uh, Brad Boxberger, uh, an 84, nice. and a Flashback Drew Pomeranz. Uh, so I have, like, guys that I super trust at the back end of that rotation, at the, the back end of the bullpen. Uh, and then I also have that Brad Brock. Or not Brad Brock. Oh, I do have that Brad Brock, because uh, I figure I got to use him. He's uh, I'm actually liking him a lot, that there's an outside chance he might jump into my rank season team at some point. Uh, and then also Ryan Buckter and Jerry Blevins. Mainly because Buckter's got, like, high K per nine, high hits per nine. Uh, so... Kind of like, essentially, Buckter and Brock are the guys that if I need an extra inning to, before I can bring in Peacock or Ryu, uh, they'll come in. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I like having the dual long guys. I feel like that's just something you don't see a lot. So I, maybe that's maybe that'll be effective a little bit. Um, so that's been fun. Uh, my lineup is Ender and Ciarte in center, Jackie Robinson at second, Jay Bruce in right, Jose Abreu at first, uh, Andrew Benintendi in left. Uh, I have Matt Carpenter at third base, but I think I also have uh, the, 70, the 78 Tony Perez, who's got like 97 contact, 97 power versus lefties. Uh, if I want to bring him in. Uh, flashback Dale Murphy behind the plate because he's got that 93 arm strength. And as we said, a lot of guys using speed teams. Uh, it's 93 arm strength. I, I hosed. Some guy got Brock and D Gordon on three times. He got both of them on three times. Uh, and he only scored like one run in the game because Dale Murphy threw out, threw him out like three times stealing and the rest was like double plays. Uh, and you now have to go out short because you need that shortstop with the cannon. Yeah. Solid. Beast team. Uh, I was actually surprised I was able to get it that high uh, with the with having, I think, four, like three or four 84s in the bullpen. And that's the first out of the inning. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can also, you can also put the lower, lower commons in there to kind of balance that out as well, which is nice. Like, even though you can't put, like... You can't put any commons, but continue. No, I'm coming. I'm lower bronzes. I apologize. L lower bronzes, and there's lower bronzes. If you have some of them in your inventory, uh, just heads up. They're going for some. They're going for some coin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm it might be time through, to clear out. I'm going through selling some of my silvers and stuff to see if I can make a little scratch off this, uh, off this event. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, like Jose Abreu is really good. He has good contact versus righties and lefties. I want to say Carpenter has that too. He might be a little bit righty, uh, righty heavy, but still pretty good. Why do I still have Vince Velasquez in in the fourth inning? Um, question from the chat. Do you guys think that David Price is going to get updated with uh, relief pitcher eligibility? Uh, yes. He's pitching in the pen, right? He should get it. Yep, he will. He will, and he might end with it too. Uh, and it will also drop yeah. his. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it'll drop him to like an 86. So, don't get excited thinking he's going to go up. Oh, I don't think anyone's going to be excited for an OVR up for him. But, but uh, he's an 89, so if he did get a, a bump up, he would go to diamond. Ah, uh, I got gotcha. you. I, I think he'll be. I think he'll definitely be a uh, a force in some people's bullpens, especially with how good that postseason flashback is. 
Um, I think some people could possibly, especially if he, if he goes down to 85 instead of 86, maybe. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, It'll 84. Be, if he drops to 84 and becomes a silver, it might be worth it. It'll be interesting to see how big of a stamina hit he takes. True. Because, uh, I mean, last year, again, not not the same quality of player, but we had the, the Aaron Sanchez thing. He was, I think, was he a gold when he got sent down sent to the bullpen? Uh, something like that. I, yeah, I think he. I think he was in '85, and he went to the bullpen, and his stamina went down into the '40s, if I'm not mistaken. Pro tip: uh, Carlos Gomez on your bench. And then I kept him in my bullpen long after he was adjusted back to starting pitcher. As long as I didn't take him out, I could keep him down there. <laughs> and then, actually, if I remember correctly, TJ, you made me take him out for some ridiculous game we were playing. Hey man, it's all about the ridiculous. Game. That's true. To be fair, it was probably for the kids. So, oh. I wonder. Hopefully, Gary reminds me. I wonder if the postseason win right would be uh, the pitching reward. Uh, the pitching that's a that's a pretty darn good bet. I don't know who this guy's right fielder is, but just took the ball off his head. Who would be? I wonder who the uh, hitter lefty? would be. Seems like a maybe a Lofton or a Veer. No, I mean, uh, who would the postseason hitter be? Oh, uh, the postseason hitter? Wow. Um, well, they already got the Beltran. I think a lot of people were looking for the Beltran, and that came out now mm. So on the ticket counter. So I mean, Reggie Stalker. Not going to double up on Robbie Alomar. Could be Reggie Stalker. Man, Reggie, can you imagine Reggie if they Stalker. got a, a postseason Reggie Jackson? Did they mention if Reggie Stalker would be in? I don't, I don't think, think he is. Right? Uh, I mean, at this at this point with the after the oh, Pepe Alizar fiasco. Yeah, but <laughs> I think Stalker's different than Alizar. Yeah, he is. He is different, but it, I think it's going to drum that back up for people. Uh, Honestly, my bet my bet goes good. with my bet goes with Reggie Jackson having like a ninety nine overall. Reggie Jackson. I mean, postseason. There aren't too many people that are more postseason than Reggie Jackson. What's the uh... His other card is not postseason. Right? The, it's uh, 94. It is in its Oakland, so it's definitely not postseason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a hardware season. Uh, he had a hardware season card. He's got an impact veteran card, and I think he's got a rookie card. Yeah, and a rookie card. So at this point, let me see here. Let me bring up the old baseball reference. I mean, the dude, the dude is named. The, hold on i just want to i just want to make sure we understand something here when you joked about there being a reggie jackson oakland uh postseason reward <laughs> he won yeah, didn't they win he back won two world, world series and he was the mvp of the seven i know i know but he only um, we're talking that's also that's also the mid 70s when that happened by the way I mean, it was hella hey. good. Is there, uh, let's see here is there any chance we get a joe carter postseason card that'd be pretty nasty I mean, you know, again, with it, with it being the playoffs and you want to capitalize on iconic playoff moments. Maybe. I just, you I know. just put one into the carport, gentlemen. I could see that because Joe Carter has one of the most iconic play, uh, postseason moments in history. How yeah. about forget Adam Wayne, right? We just get Mitch Williams in here. <laughs> I would get. I would want him just for the windup. So, all right, so his hardware season, what year was his hardware season, uh, is his hardware season card? I'm going to guess that was 73. Mm, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, let me see here. Let me, let me bring up the show nation real quick now, because it's one thing Daddy Leaks does not have. Yeah, some of them don't have the picture, right? Let's see here. Uh, man, I can't. I'm not going to be able to see it. Damn it. Right, uh, his, rookie, his rookie is obviously 67. Um, I'm going to say his... I'm gonna just looking at Baseball Reference. I'm gonna guess his his hardware was probably 73 because that was his one MVP year. Um, so many All Star years. What when did they finish? When were the World Series champions? Let me see his postseason splits. Yeah. I mean, that man, he was he went to the postseason a lot. <laughs> Um, he is the, stir the straw that stirs the drink. So. Yeah. So I, uh, he went to the World Series in 73, where, where they won. Would that be the same season as his uh, as his 
MVP. Yes. Uh, by the way, a healthy Lou Gehrig is right. There is a postseason flashback Joe Carter already. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. Well, then the, 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 the nine, the overall. That's right. I forgot that he existed. Uh, you could probably do 77. 77, they won. And he hit three home runs in the game winning in the in the game winning World Series game against the Yankees. Um, he hit three oh six that season with five home runs in the in what is it one two three four five eleven games uh, with an OBP of four oh five slugging. I mean he was OPS a one point one five five nine RBIs over eleven games. Uh, Jesus, I mean come on. What if I told you? I just pitched to a guy who could be the card. I would say that I think you're wrong. What if there's a 1976 Johnny Bench? But isn't there already a 99 Bench? Is there a 99 Bench? Yeah, it's not going to be Johnny Bench. Is there a really 99 Bench? Then is he trash? No, it's 87. I'm sorry, there's an 87 Bench. My bad, my bad. I thought there was another one. Um, there was wasn't there a 99 bench last year or a high end bench for the I for the so. AL Central? Yeah, so you might be right there. I could see that. Um, again, oh man, I would just it makes way too much sense to do Reggie Jackson, even though he's already got a couple uh, of cards. Hmm. So, and he, and he has a couple of he's got a couple of monster years, dude. Oh my god, dude, you ready for this? His 78 year, where they won, where they won in seven games in their 78 year. Oh, stop clicking everything. There we go. Stop clicking. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to click the right. Uh, so he had four home runs in 10 games, 14 RBIs, a 417 batting average, and an OPS of 1.317 in 78 against against the uh, Kansas City Royals and the Dodgers. Nice. As as a Yankee, and that would be another Yankee, which I think is something they, you know, would probably look at too. Eighty one, they lost. You see, yeah, eighty one, they lost. Eighty two, they lost. Digging in. Uh, yeah. I, I, if if he were to do anything, my guess would probably be the seventy eight series, uh, where they won. They won the World Series in six. Um, uh, just something I just thought about too on the pitcher front. We haven't seen uh, the postseason bum garner yet either. True. The 99. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. We, we've only had one bum garner card all season, and that's the live series. Um, so that's with, another with option. With its weird little thing on it. Yeah, so that's a possible. A bum garner postseason card is not out of the realm of possibility. Mm -hmm. Skyed into oh, Perez. Where's the wind? Uh, yeah, so lots of options. Nobody, nobody recent, right? I'm trying to do one. Does anybody recently have good tears? Uh, I mean, we already got the Schwarber. I don't feel like there was anybody else that was just like unstoppable in the playoffs recently. No, um, no, you talk about recently though. I mean, who knows how far back they're going? Carter was a monster. Um, maybe we get a maybe we get a flashback postseason Jeffrey Mayer. Specifically for the crowd. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, um, you didn't go to high school with flash, him. Flat postseason flashback Tony Tarasco. Yeah. yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need. I need a Tony Tarasco that looks up after every home run. Yeah, all he, all, he does is all he does is point up. Yeah. Yep. There are no... <laughs> uh, it's not a glitch. I'm trying to think about if there's anyone else. Like There really isn't too much else in terms of that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, Kirk Gibson, if you were going to throw a... <laughs> if you were going to bring Kirk Gibson in there somehow, but you would think he would probably have seen a card already. There are no new... That's the other thing, too. There are no new cards, I guess. Yeah, they've they've said that the, all the players that are going to be in the game at this point... Yeah. yeah, Ortiz is in the game. Daniel Murphy? Did Daniel Murphy have big B from the chat? Daniel Murphy had a great postseason? Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Although Murphy has a flashback, right? I feel like there, I know he did. Year. I know. I know he did last year. I don't know if he does currently. Daniel Murphy has a. That's his live series card, isn't it? His live series is the ninety-one. Nope, he does not have a. Well, he has a. I guess it's a rookie. Yeah, his oh, rookie got, flashback. Guard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did have that. Uh, the, it was the Nationals collection last year, I think. Actually, or yeah. the Mets collection. Sorry. 
Nets collection mm-hmm. was the 92 or 93 Daniel. Oh, TJ forgot something there. I don't think they would do a, uh, yeah, I don't know how he missed that. Game, but he was directly oh, Jackie oh, Robinson oh, out of position. Oh, oh, oh. Still, I know. Uh, I mean, I don't think we're going to get an Anthony Rizzo. I'm sure people would love that. Did hit three home runs in the playoffs last year, but really was trash in the first series. Uh, so we're thinking Reggie Jackson and either Wainwright or Bumgarner. It's kind of our best bets. Yeah, that's, I think it's probably it. Yeah, I think that's probably. I don't think we can. I don't think you can argue any picks. He's ready. Here's the O one. Definitely not a Zach Britton. Change up. Yes, him out. Yeah, right. No offense, of course. Did you see what I picked up just because I love you? What did you pick up just because you love me? We went to uh, me and buddy Jeff went to a baseball card uh, show. I knew about that on Sunday. I got this sweet Adam Jones card with a little jersey action on it. Just nice. You're a fan of Adam Jones, so I picked it up. I think I you picked, picked it up because I'm a fan? How does that help you? Because now I have a sweet Adam Jones card, and I can be like, yo, look at this Adam Jones card. You don't have that. Well, that's a good point. No, I'll give you that. <laughs> I, can, I can touch what maybe his away. Yeah, n- now, he, now he can hold it over your head till the day you die. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Sorry. Right. I have just like, your, just like this Christmas present. Yeah, where's my Christmas present? What Christmas do, present? I do have that flashback. Uh, I picked up the flashback Jake Arrieta because it was like eight cents. Yeah. But that was all right. I thought I got a Blue Jay. Did I really, did I really not get a Blue Jay? I got a Lucas Giolito because he was the uh, the season reward. Uh, I got some chippers. Greg Maddox. I got a card of Greg Maddox golfing because if you don't have a card of Greg Maddox golfing, you don't have a card of Greg Maddox. Saw that. Uh. Yeah, the only cool, the, the real stuff that I thought was cool that I picked up was the, uh, the Adam Jones. I got a Billy Hamilton card with his, from his, like his hat logo from his debut with the Pensacola Blue Wahoos, which is pretty cool. Though I didn't know they make, you know, like the, the card sleeves, they make super thick ones now for these crazy cards. Like oh, I, nice. I literally got a card of Mike fulton that has a piece of baseball in it. And not just like a little piece of baseball, like the whole sweet spot. <laughs> like a solid chunk of baseball. Yeah. yeah so, so like if you look at this thing, the case is like, I think they say it's uh, it's like five millimeters. I got a, I got a thing around here somewhere. I do actually. I have a, a PD. Yeah, you don't know, like the regular little plastic sleeve is like one little spot. This is like yeah, yeah. four millimeters wide. Nice. This huge thing in here. I got a Mike Moustakis uh, thing from his pro debut, part of his jersey, from the Omaha Royals. Uh, obviously. Oh, you know who sh- Did he have... You know who needs to be in the game? And, well, weird. Hold, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Is there not a Jeff Frank Core card this year? Yes, there is. A flashback? No. No. Um, there were there there had to be a card because I was using them earlier in the year. Yeah, isn't there one that absolutely destroys lefties? Is there? Hold on, what was my six minute reward? So Jeff Frank Core is a free agent in sixty nine common. Um But I don't even think he's been updated to be fair. No, he's been in sixty nine since he's since it came out. Sixty nine contact versus lefties, or I'm sorry, sixty one contact versus lefties, fifty power versus lefties. How did he not interesting? He, had, but he has 94 he, arm strength. But he had an 88 flashback last year. Yes, he did have thing. a flashback last year, correct. Hmm, interesting. I uh, picked up a, a jersey swatch card of him, because he's my brother from another <laughs> mother, and also one uh, of Miguel Cabrera, because Miguel Cabrera is good. Guys, we're going to look back on this time and remember that Miguel Cabrera played in it and realize that we were really missing out on an amazing hitter in Miguel Cabrera. But yo, going to a card show is like real fun. Just going through stuff, looking at cards. Most of the stuff, like all these jersey cards, I think I paid like three bucks each, essentially. Pretty nice. Up. And now I have a Billy Hamilton card that's pretty legit. Highly recommend. My Google. biggest, my biggest question is when are we going to start live Ultimate Team banter? That's that's the real question. For which game? Hey Mills, did you, Mills, did you get that Kawhi Leonard by the way? No. Not yet. Okay. For still, if, I still had, still if I had one, I, if I had one, I'd sell them to you in a hurry. For NBA Live or for what? Madden? What do you want to talk about? 
This is not gonna end your life. I mean, we can do some LUT banter at some point. Well, the thing is, like, I'm I have I have about 150 thousand coins right now. <laughs> Madman. And uh, it's so easy to get. Stop playing. That's what happens when you stop playing the show. You go into NBA Live Ultimate Team and you start racking up coins. Coins are so easy to come by. I played one game. Yeah, I, th I thought it I, felt, I thought it felt very good. Yeah, I liked it. I, I like the on court gameplay, but I also like 2K as well. So I think they're both pretty good. I still have to give to to. I want to read up on the whole my GM story mode 2K thing before I decide what I, if I want to pick it up or not. Um, I played a little bit of it. It's okay. Yeah. I just don't feel like the live, like if I want to get into playing a basketball franchise, I don't feel like it's going to do. So. Well, the other thing too is like, I, I like the one setting they have is it's called normalize minutes to, um, to whatever quarter length you want to sim. So if you sim, if you do, if you have your sim quarter length to 12, but you only want to play six, it'll double your stats automatically in the stack keeping. So it actually, it actually will normalize their stats, which is kind of cool. Nice. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, exactly. That's that's something I really like about it. Excellent. 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 I mean, I'm really enjoying. I'm really enjoying the, the one. I think it's fantastic mode in, within a game. Really, the probably the highlight of the game for me is, has been that mode so far. I really think that. And, and this this will go to MLB too. I think co op is something that is missing from a lot of yep. games, and I think yep. live and NHL both hit it this year. And I think it's going to open it up to everybody else. They're going to realize that people still want to play because co op in NHL is and, easy. And FIFA's fun. Um, and FIFA, yeah, well, FIFA pro clubs. But what I'm saying is like there's solos in NHL you can do co op. Um, yep. There are essentially co op missions in live that you can do. Because and you get like stuff from those, so I, I like those. I think those are very awesome, um, in terms of that. Yeah, I was watching you stream the other night. And I was like, "Hey, wait, are they doing like? Are you doing like a mission in the one, but doing it with like five users?" Yep, absolutely. And I'm like, I'm like, that's awesome. And Carolina. Yep, I, I like it too, and I, I just don't think, I, I don't think it's, I think it's a missed shot by a lot of people and Madden did it this year really well as well I, I shouldn't I, I shouldn't forget Madden because Mutt Squads did it really well as uh, well so yeah Mutt Squads has been a huge success for them I think baseball is still a little different because it's so dependent on just the 1v1 1v1 you know batter yeah. pitcher but I don't know that it would be a bad idea to maybe uh, I don't even want to say it yeah, I just don't know how you. I so how you delegate the responsibilities. So a couple weeks ago, I was on that other MLB weekly show. You know that that are friends of ours. Those and the this week in MLB show. Those, yes. Who say are we're even? We're tied even, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we beat the home run derby. I beat Millennial Nate, and all they did was beat you. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway I I was on with them a couple weeks ago, and we had that exact. How can you make? MLB the show a co-op multi-user experience and without getting into like all the specifics on what the idea was behind it you can't without it being hella hard that's the point is again it's you want to do something like that with MLB the show and have six guys in a game at once I mean you know with the way the servers have been historically is that really something you want to see them try and attack at this point uh, like it's it's a huge for this specific game. Yes, I think co-op is the future of sports games. I really do. I think games that have done it have done it very well. Um, but MLB the show specific, I just I I don't know if it's something that I want to see them go at right now. Yeah, I, I just don't know oh no, I, I'm, really yeah, I'm sorry, good. No, I, I just don't know if baseball really suits itself to it. But again, as you said, it's it's so one versus one. And you know, getting in, uh, getting in a groove is something you need. That if you're switching off batting left and right, and switching off or switching off pitching or something, it could be yeah. real questionable. 
Yeah. And, and the other thing is, too, is, like, I'd rather them focus on things they, like, like fixes now. Mm-hmm. Fix their other stuff. Fix the servers. Fix, you know, whatever else they need to fix first. Then, then we'll start talking about this new mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have, you know, uh, they, we have hard enough time getting two people in the same game working 100%. Yeah. So. Right. I would rather see them, you know what, like all things being equal, I would rather see them implement like a connected franchise, like actually make it a real online franchise experience. I would, in, in a baseball sense, I would prefer that mm-hmm. than, than to having a co-op experience. I would want to be able to do uh, franchise the way that I can connected like I can in Madden. And it work and have all the features. I should play on Madden game, shouldn't I? That could be an important thing. Oh, yeah. Defenders. Oh, good. See? You got great service. Because this guy just threw a second base, which I'm sure he didn't want to do. So, but, but that's the thing. Like, you know, it, it's. Again, you know, co op seems to be a, a really popular thing, right? And kind of low. Like, I don't think it's. I mean, you know, Mutt Squads, people knew that it was going to be kind of a thing, but like. You know, NHL, it just kind of came out without any real, like, fanfare to it. And I feel like NBA was kind of the same, but it's been it's been a really nice, refreshing way to play the game. Well, and it's also for people that, that struggle. Like, you can get your friends to help you out. Yeah, that's that's me. Hands uh, raised. Right, right here. Oh, TJ, please tell me you didn't score. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, that is oh, horrible. Look, oh, look, Jake Lamb professional is teaser kids. Jake I, Lamb I, is I'm an not. awful third baseman. Do you know how many balls? I, first off, he should have been going to start with. I don't know why he stopped. But yeah, no, I, that's 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 a terrible. That is a absolutely horrible way way to score. Not for you, but like I'd, again, if I was have it happen to you, yeah. Uh, but yeah. again, do you know how many line drives at third baseman that Jake Lamb has made a play on? Very upsetting amount. <laughs> oh, for what he is, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you're not that good. Also, he had a home run lefty-lefty, and I'm pretty pissed off about that, too. <laughs> now I got Zach for Nice. nice. Uh, well, like I said, it's, uh, that's pretty bad way to score. Yeah. Uh, I think we're good. Are we good? I I'm we, good. I feel yeah. like we've hit everything here. I'm, I'm good. Also, Loki OP off the bench, Eduardo Nunez, if he's not just going to be your third baseman. Good speed, great contact versus righties. Solid. Look at that. Crush that ball. Always love a little E. Nunez action. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this week's edition of Bullpen Banter. As always, you can follow us on Twitter, at that sports gamer at SnaggleJ, at MillsGamingTV. Ooh, this guy tried to throw one at my belly button. Uh, I believe that's all our twitches as well. Oh, let's go. Off the foot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Get that recovery off the foot. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll have the new postseason stuff out, so we'll have an episode next week. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time right here on twitch.tv slash thatsportsgamer. Uh, get your event games in. Get your ranked seasons if that's what you're going to do. Uh, yeah, and then postseason rewards. There are no postseason programs on Friday. Uh, thank you guys for watching. But now it's time for you to get out of the bullpen and get into the game. Take it easy, folks. And we'll see you again next week. Neil Walker will be the first one to.